One of the most iconic characteristics of the NCR Rangers from Fallout New Vegas is that of their sharpshooting ability and the weapon of choice that they carry with them, which is that of the anti-material rifle. This weapon was probably one of the most deadliest weapons in your arsenal that you could acquire while venturing through the Mojave Wasteland, that could take down a Deathclaw with a few shots and lay fear into the eyes of every foe you came across. Today in Fallout 76, I've put together a build to recreate that feeling with my NCR Ranger Sharpshooter build. This build, like my NCR Ranger build, is a low health bloody build, which you can check out here, and is not aimed towards endgame bosses such as the Scorch Beast Queen, Earl Williams and other endgame bosses, but can be utilised in many ways across Appalachia and even into the pit. So let's jump into it and take a look at the build. I will note for everyone that in each of my build videos there are timestamps available in the description in case you want to skip to the parts you'd prefer to check out. So starting with the special stats, we do have the following. We have 2 points into Strength, 15 into Perception, 8 into Endurance, 7 into Charisma, 3 into Intelligence, 11 into Agility and also 10 into Luck. With the perk cards, we have the following. We've got max rank of Bandolier, so that your ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We also have rank 2 of Barbarian, so that every point of strength adds plus 3 damage resistance while not wearing power armor. And then also as well, we've got max rank of Traveling Pharmacy. Into the Perception category, because this is a Rifleman build, we will be utilizing the Hunting Rifle and also as well the Lever Action Rifle. We've got max rank of Rifleman. We also have max rank of Tank Killer. We also have max rank of Expert Rifleman, Master Rifleman, and also as well max rank of Concentrated Fire, so that VATS will target limbs. And then also as well Focus Fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. In the Endurance category, we've got max rank of Rejuvenated, so that you gain extra benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. We also have max rank of Radical, so that the greater your strength, the greater your rads, because this is a low health, bloody build that we are utilizing with this build. And then also as well, we've got max rank of Ironclad so that you gain 50 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor because we want to try and be as tanky as possible. Obviously with the likes of Ironclad and also as well Barbarian, we're adding in that extra sort of tankiness to this build. Into Charisma, we do have max rank of Strange in Numbers so that your positive mutation effects are 25% stronger. I will note that I will add the mutations into a pinned comment here in this video, so make sure to check out that pinned comment so you can check out all the list of mutations that I have in this build. Also as well, we've got max rank of Suppressor, so we reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack. And then also we've got max rank of Tenderizer, so you make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Attack. In the intelligence category, because this is a low health bloody build, we do have max rank of nerd rage, and then also as well we've got max rank of demolition expert to gain plus 60% extra damage to your explosive attacks. With some of the weapons that we have here today, be it with the hunting rifle and also as well the lever action rifle, we do have explosive legendary effects with these weapons. So this is a great card to utilize if you do have explosive weapons. If not, you can swap it out for something else or anything that you'd like to move it into. Moving into agility, we do have max rank of action boy, we've got max rank of covert operative, we also have rank 1 of sneak, we also have rank 1 of escape artist, rank 2 of gunfu, and also as well max rank of adrenaline. Like I said in my previous build videos, max rank of adrenaline is always a must with any build that you're trying to utilize. You want to always try and utilize as much damage as you possibly can and adrenaline is a great card to do that. In the luck category, we do have max rank of bloody mess so that you gain 15% bonus damage, uh, which basically also means that enemies may explode into a gory red paste. We also have rank 2 of Grim Reaper Sprint, so any kill in VATS has a 25% chance to restore all action points. And then also as well, we've got max rank of better criticals, so that your VATS criticals now do plus 100% damage to your enemies. We also have rank 2 of Four Leaf Clover, so that each hit in VATS has a better chance to fill your critical meter. And then also we've got max rank of Class Freak, which reduces the negative effects of your mutations by 75%. And then also we've got max rank of Starch Genes, so that you will never mutate from RADs and RAD Away will never cure your mutations. 
with our legendary perk cards, which is also helping boosting some of the categories with this build. We do have max rank of legendary luck, max rank of legendary strength. We also have max rank of follow through, so that range sneak damage increases damage to target by 40% for 10 seconds. This is a great card to utilize if you're trying to utilize that sort of sneak factor, which we do have in this build in the agility category. So this is a great card to utilize. If not, and you're not utilizing sneak, obviously, look, you can swap it out for something else. But based on this, build this is what we're going for we also have max rank of legendary intelligence legendary agility and also as well legendary perception which is obviously once you have all of these maxed out is boosting all of your special stats across in each of these categories now that we've covered the special stats perk cards and legendary perk cards let's go and test this build out on all the enemies that appalachia has to offer Alrighty, so we are over at West Tech. We're going to try this build out on some super mutants over here by the West Tech Research Center. Now, before I go up shooting some super mutants and trying this build out, I will add that there's going to be a few different guns that we're going to be using with this rifleman build. First of all, we do have an anti-armor Vats crits do plus 50% damage hunting rifle. And I will add with each hunting rifle, there is a mod that you can actually get and a plan that you can learn that can actually change the receiver from the standard standard receiver that you get with the hunting rifle to a 50 receiver so you can actually use the same bullets that you use in the likes of the um the 50 cal machine gun you can actually use those bullets within that and this actually changes the sound changes everything about the weapon and obviously increases the damage and pretty much is going to be the closest thing that we're going to get to the anti-material rifle in 76 unless they actually add it into the game who knows we might get it at some stage but also as well we are going to be using the likes of an anti-armor explosive uh, hunting rifle again with the 50 receiver on it and then also as well we're going to be using the likes of the lever action rifle so we've got a bloody explosive lever action rifle we also have a standard bloodied uh, lever action uh, lever action rifle with 25 percent less vats and then also as well we have a bloodied hunting rifle again with the 50 receiver so we're going to be checking out a few different versions of this because yes it is a bloody build and obviously we want to try and see the variation between the the particular weapons but also in regards to the likes of my armor i am a bloody build so i'm going to be utilizing the likes of unyielding armor but i will put a little pin comment in the video below where you can check out all the stats of each of these uh, particular pieces very similar to how i did with my ncr build video but for our first demo demonstration we're going to be checking out the bloodied explosive hunting rifle and we're going to give that a shot here and see what it's like on some super mutants now we are going to try and utilize sneak but obviously with explosive weapons and things like that that's very extremely hard to do but there you go one shot to the head oh missed him didn't get him in vats he uh he ducked behind a corner oh we'll go for this guy here there we go oh one shot to the head there you go and another one shot and also, come on. Oh, boom. There you go. Another one shot. Followed by another one shot. And as you can see, it also changes the sound of the weapon. You can actually hear the difference from a standard hunting rifle to uh, when you change it with the 50 receiver, which I think is awesome. And again, it's probably the closest thing you're probably going to get to the anti-material rifle in terms of how it looks and also how it actually sounds. So this is the bloodied explosive, and we're doing quick work of the uh, of the super muties. Oh, there we go. We got a we, we got a weekly challenge done or a daily challenge done. There we go. Getting our uh, getting our score up, getting our rank up on the scoreboard. Boom, and there we go. So as you can see, making very very quick work of all of the super mutants outside. Now there are some super mutants around the back, so we're going to switch over to the anti-material, not anti-material, anti-armor. Uh, that's crits. Uh, hunting rifle so we'll go and use that and we'll go and quickly run around the back here and we'll check out the super mutants here with the anti-armor version because obviously in new vegas it was an anti-material rifle so we want to try and go as anti-armor as we can with this particular weapon so let's go and try it out here on these super mutants around the back where are they usually they spawn here in a few seconds oh here we go here we go now let's try and get some vats crits on these guys and see exactly how it does there you go one shot 1030 hey there we go one shot 628 and then can we get this there you go 661 oh two shots there we go two shots 1009 that's what i'm talking about and usually oh there's that doggo is he gonna come down is he gonna come down he's making his way making his way downtown oh 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 
hang on a second i missed them oh there we go 548 so that is pretty awesome i have to say between the two obviously the bloodied explosive it will be putting out more damage but the anti-armor obviously without explosive damage still doing very very quick work so there we go folks now what we're going to do is we're going to hop on into west tech and we are going to try out the anti-armor explosive variant now obviously being inside of west tech that's going to be very very difficult but we're going to try we're going to try it out and see exactly how it does so let's go folks let's hop on into west tech let's go Alrighty, so here we are inside of West Tech. Now, again, I am going to be using the anti-armor explosive, but obviously being inside, a, inside of an actual, you know, close proximity area, especially with super mutants, it's uh, definitely going to be a lot of fun. But we'll try our best anyway. We'll see how we get on. We'll try it out on a few. And then what we'll do is we'll go over and test out the likes of the lever action rifle on some sub, uh, more super mutants. So let's go and try this out here. Oh, we, 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 got, we went behind a corner. Oh, there we go. One shot to the head. Nine. 60. Let's try and go up here. Oh, we got another super mutant. Oh, almost one shot to the head. Oh, there we go. 646. Any more? There's a doggo. We'll get rid of the doggo. 618. All right, any more? Come on. There's loads of super mutants in here. Give me a few more. Oh, almost one sh shot to the head. And then again, 689. There we go. Three star legend. Oh, three star legendary doggo. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Obviously, with the. Oh, oh. I'm in, I'm in the vats. I'm in the vats of acid. Oh, God. Getting even more bloodied. Oh, this doggo is out on a mission. <laughs> He's do he doesn't like me. There we go. Let's get rid of him. <laughs> now, we're not in sneak anymore. So there we go. 683. One shot to the head. 697. One shot to the head. So obviously, yes, you have to be very careful, especially, you know, the difference between a commando build and obviously a rifleman build. It's a one shot per hit weapon. So obviously, you're going to have to try and get those shots in as quickly as possible. And obviously, the hunting rifle isn't really the fastest. You know, obviously, if you can get a 25% faster fire rate version, it would be awesome to get that. But there we go, 1,043. And then, is there any more super mutants in here in this little area anymore? Should be another one down here somewhere, isn't there? Usually this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, we missed him. <laughs> we missed him. He got out just in time. Where is he going? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. There we go, and boom, straight to the head. That's crits. Oh, and we got a doggo. <laughs> the doggo snuck up on me. <laughs> Alrighty, so what we'll do is we'll go and check out the lever action rifle on some super mutants. So let's hop on over and check out the lever action rifle. Let's go. Alrighty, so we are over at Huntersville, just located a little bit south of West Tech there. So over here at Huntersville, and we're also going to be checking out the... What particular weapon am I using here? I'm using the bloodied 25% less VATS bashing damage increased by 50%. I know it would have been a, a little bit of a better roll if we got rid of the uh, bashing damage, but hey, it is what it is. You got to love RNG in this game. But hey, 25% less VATS will go with it anyway. So we'll try out the lever action rifle, because again, it is a lever action rifleman build, or, you know, it's a rifle. Rifleman build, so we'll try this out. So there we go. One shot to the head, one shot to the head. I missed a couple of shots in VATS, but we got a one shot to the head, which is pretty awesome. Let's go and try out some more. Let's see if we can find some more. I think there's some more in here, isn't there? Ah, oh, there is. There we go. One shot to the head, one shot to the head. Any more? Any more super muties? Oh, there's a level 100. One star. Oh, there you go. Two shots to the head. Didn't even have a chance to regenerate. There we go. One shot to the head. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, obviously, I don't have a suppressor on this. Are we going to take that? What's on that? Uh, right? No, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to take that in. We uh, we obviously don't have a suppressor on this. So, obviously, you know, in certain circumstances, the likes of sneak isn't really going to be utilized. But, you know, if you pop a suppressor on, you uh, will be able to utilize sneak even more. But we're doing well with our sneak attacks, I have to say. We're doing very, very well with our sneak attacks. One shot to the head. 1,114. There we go. Now, whoa, that doggo went there. Uh, <laughs> he went for a trip. The revenge. The revenge on the doggos. <laughs> that one that snuck up on me in West Tech. Got me good. Got me good. Now, any more? Now, we're in danger, so we're not utilizing sneak anymore. There we go. One shot to the head. Two shot to the head. That's what I'm talking about. So as you can see, the lever action rifle definitely doing, definitely doing some damage there as well. Probably a little bit better than the... Uh, the, uh, the previous, what are the one that I have? The anti-armor explosive? Because this obviously is bloodied. This is a bloodied, uh, 
lever action rifle and it's a little bit faster fires a little bit faster than our our other weapons we were trying out there a little bit earlier anymore there should be more up here isn't there ah there we go yeah there we go one shot to the head and then also boom another one shot to the head <laughs> So there we go. That is the bloodied 25% less vats. Obviously, we don't like the bashing damage. We don't like that. We don't like that roll at all. But that is the lever action rifle in all of its glory. 308 damage that we were doing there that we're getting with that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to the likes of Swan. We're going to check out the likes of the anti... I'm going to call it the anti-material rifle for this video. So I'm going to try that out on Swan. So let's run on down here real quick and see exactly how we do. So let's say uh, what one we're going to use. Use. We'll use the breaks 50% slower anti armor. Actually, what we'll do is we didn't try out the other bloodied one. We had the bloodied explosive. Uh, where's the other bloodied one that I have? 25% uh, damage while aiming plus one perception. No, do you know what we'll do? We'll track out this. Yeah, there we go. Faster fire rate. We'll try out this one here. This should be a little bit better with plus one perception. So we'll try this out on Swan. We're not trying any explosive weapons on Swan because obviously, look, the explosive damage, we've tested that. It looks great. It does well. But we're going to try this one here. This hopefully should be a little bit better. So let's go and see how Swan is today. How are you doing, Swan? Welcome. You gonna you gonna rise? You gonna get up? Oh, he, now he's up. <laughs> there we go. So two three and then four four shots 1291 so there you go that is the anti-armor 25 percent faster fire rate plus one perception now what we're going to do is we're going to try out the bloodied explosive version that i have of this weapon which is this one here this is the lever action rifle so this is plus one agility bullets explode for area damage and we're going to go over and we're going to test this out on some ghouls in the white springs so let's hop on over there to the white springs let's go now here we are over at the white springs golf club now i was just thinking to myself there what I might actually do is I might leave using the explosive variant of this uh, lever action rifle. I might leave that for another test subject, which we're going to be trying out here today. And that is going to be on some mole miners. We're going to check this out in some mole miners instead, because I just thought to myself inside of uh, the White Springs Golf Club, it is, you know, close proximity and more than likely I'm probably going to, you know, get myself killed with an explosive weapon being inside of here. So we're just going to try out the same variant. We're going to try this out on some ghouls. Now, obviously with ghouls, you know, they're going to be a little bit more easier to kill. So as you can see there, 716 to the head, one shot. Um, so this isn't the explosive variant. There you go. One shot again. One shot again. Because we want to try and utilize sneak if we can in this uh, in this little area. Oh, danger. We have danger. Oh, we got danger. Oh, come on. Shoot him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Almost snuck up on me there. Almost got me. Now, I wonder what we have here today. What what do we have inside of here? Hopefully, it's like a glowing one or like a Windigo or something. There we go. One shot to the head. What else do we have? One shot to the head. And what's going to be in here? Is it going to be a glowing one? Is it going to be a ghoul? Oh, it's got a ghoul. And it's a glowing one. Oh, two, three, and four. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance to get us. Didn't even have a chance. I'm going to try that out there. 1,203. One shot. One shot. Gotta love those one shots. So yeah, as you can see there, folks, definitely, you know, if we hop on up here again, we can we can check these out on, on some more ghouls. And again, it's all going to be pretty much one shot to the head, especially with the uh, the bloody lever action rifle. But what we're going to do is we're going to try out the bloodied explosive variant. We're going to try that out on some mole miners. We've never tested any of our weapons out on some mole miners here before. So we're going to do that instead. Uh, we're going to actually hop on down to the ash heap. I'm going to hop on down over there and we're going to try out the bloody and explosive variant. So let's go. Let's go to the ash heap. Let's do this. Now, here we go, folks. We are down at Mount Blair Train Yard. Down here, we're going to check out this uh, bloodied explosive variant. So as you can see there, bloodied uh, bullets explode for area damage and plus one agility. So let's go. Let's test this out on some enemies. Oh, we actually have the bot over here, the security bot. There you go. Two shots. Now, I know obviously his, his health was already down for a little bit anyway, but there you go. One shot to the head on that disciple, a cultist disciple. We'll leave them. We're testing them out on mole miners. That's what we're here for. We're not here to do battle boss. That's not what we're here for. We're here to test this out on some mole miners. So let's go and find some mole miners in here. Now, there's a mole miner all the way down here. I'm going to try and aim. And oh, ho -ho! there you go. Two shots from that range. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> he ducked behind cover. 
<laughs> oh, I missed him again. Oh, there you go. One shot to the head while aiming down sights. And there you go. Another one shot to the head. Now, there should be mo some more mole miners in here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. One shot to the head. 1,188. God, you gotta love it. You gotta love that damage. I know there's more upstairs. Let me go and try and see if there's any... Uh, if I can find the ones that are upstairs here. There's usually some upstairs. Where are they? Oh, there's one down at the very end. Let's try and get him. And a mole rat. Oh, almost. There we go. And then also, let's try and get the mole rat. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> one shot to the head again now let's go and get these mole miners we'll clear this whole place out that's what we'll do now where's the other one there's usually another one that spawns over here somewhere where is he there's usually two up here isn't there usually two mole miners no just one all right okay um where is the other one there's usually a couple of mole miners over here in these uh little little barn things these little uh little warehouses there we go. There's a, there's one there. We'll try aiming down sights. So there we go. How about that? Oh, <laughs> one shot to the head. Again, one shot to the head. Let's try him out. Oh, 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 oh he moved. Oh, he's going to come out here. Is he going to come out? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 oh you got to love it. You got to love it. Look at that mole rat as well. Boom. Right to the head. <laughs> you gotta love it it is awesome i have to say like this build look it's a lot of fun again look as i said it's not aimed towards the likes of the scorch beast queen or earl williams and all that kind of stuff again like my previous ncr build look you can check it out if you want to you can check it out on earl williams or the scorch beast queen and all that kind of stuff but obviously look you're going to be there for a while you will be uh definitely putting in a good bit of damage into them but obviously with the scorch beast queen and Obviously, with Earl Williams as well, they do uh, they do tank a lot of damage. They're definitely bullet sponges. Oh, God, I can't jump up here. Can I jump up here? Oh, oh I should be able to jump up. Can I do it? Come on. There we go. But yeah, they definitely are uh, bullet sponges when it comes to this game. But look, again, you can try it out in them. You know, you can utilize this build whatever way you want to. You can swap up the cards for something that maybe you prefer to use with your rifleman builds or even your bloody builds. But there you go, folks. That is the bloodied rifleman, the sharpshooter NCR Ranger build. And I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. I really do. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you get a lot out of it. But until then, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this video up and we're going to hop on out of here and and yeah, we're going to do that. So let's do it, folks. Let's hop on out of here. Let's go. And there you have it, the NCR Ranger Sharpshooter Rifleman build. I hope you all be able to utilize this build and learned a little bit more on what goes into the likes of a Rifleman build in Fallout 76. And if you found this video helped you and you found it enjoyable, consider clicking the subscribe button for more Fallout build and guide videos in the future. I want to say a massive thank you for the feedback and support in my last NCR build video, and I'm so happy that you enjoyed. I will be bringing out a quick full health version of that build very, very soon for you high health players, so don't worry, I got you covered. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of our channel members over here on YouTube and over on Twitch, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. If you also find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and want to support the channel, you can use my code BTPINEAPPLE101 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. I will note that the code on screen will expire October 12th, so if you find yourself watching this video after October 12th, the code on screen will have expired. But don't worry, I'll leave a link to our Discord in the description where you can come and join us and where I regularly update my creator codes. If you want to support me and the channel in a more personal way, you can also check out my merch store, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, and I'll catch you all in the next video.